Everybody pays attention. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friend. I remember when Rock was young. Appearing on Stars in Their Eyes tonight from West Lothian, Scotland, Kirsty Fleming. Andy Hughes from Melton Keynes. From Kidderminster, Darren Richards. Loretta O'Sullivan from Bantry County Cork. And Neil Banks from Alverstoke Gosport. Now, please welcome your host, Matthew Kelly. The stars in their eyes. Right, I want to clear up something right away and before we go any further. People are always asking me, why are you the only person on the show who never sings? Well, there's a very good reason for this. We like to keep people watching. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I can make the tone deaf sound like Pavarotti. I can turn karaoke into kamikaze. On a Saturday night, I look in the mirror and I say, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Margarita Prakatan. I can present the show, but heaven help us if I ever perform on it. Oh, no. I'll leave the singing to the experts, thank you very much. And you won't find five finer vocal performances on TV anywhere. And do you know why? Because it takes nerves of steel and pants of titanium to appear on this show. <laughs> and we think we've found just the girl in star guest number one. My name's Kirsty Fleming and I'm 19 and I live in Bowness, just outside Edinburgh. At the moment, I'm studying to become a nurse at Glasgow Caledonian University, but at the weekends, I work in Tesco in the bakery in Bowness. My job in the bakery, I bake the bread and the cakes that we sell in the shop, and ice donuts and sugar donuts, and that could be very messy, and then wrap them up and put them outside on the shelves to sell. I like Stars in the Rise because I've always loved singing and dancing and performing. I remember watching it at my grand's when I was wee, saying that I'm going to be on that one day and wondering who I would do and just knew one day I was going to be on it. When I got the phone call to say that I was actually going on the show, the woman at the other end of the line literally had to hold the phone away because I nearly burst her eardrum screaming. It was just so great. I didn't think I had got on. I was just so happy. And we're very happy to have her here tonight. Please welcome Kirsty Fleming. So you're a nurse working in a bakery, okay. obviously, to make the money up. Why did you choose to be a nurse? Well, originally, I would have quite liked to go to drama school, but unfortunately, the tuition fees were quite expensive. Yeah. So I chose another profession that I was yeah. really interested in. Who's your favourite singer? My favourite singer would have to be Madonna. Madonna. Well, she's obviously not going to be Madonna, otherwise we wouldn't have mentioned the name, would we? But give us a few more clues and let's see if we can guess who you're going to be. Well, originally she was a member of a very successful all-female group until she left. Yeah, right, so she's not a Spice Girl. And what was she voted last year? Last year she was voted as the woman most men would like to marry. And she had a famous marriage last year, didn't she? Yeah, she married a very famous footballer. And who was the footballer? Jamie Redknapp. I think we know now. Who are you going to be tonight, Kirsty? Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Louise. Louise! <laughs> Prepare to be laid bare, because tonight's Singing Live, Kirsty Fleming is Louise! Shouldn't be, I can't seem to stop my imagination. 
excited now, aren't you? Yeah. You are exactly like her. You look like her, you sound like her, not even a hint of a Glasgow accent anywhere. <laughs> well, you'd be thrilled about that. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, very. <laughs> you should be. I've got a queue of footballers outside asking to marry you. Mm. <laughs> Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, Kirsty Fleming as Louise. Now, the real mark of a great singer is getting the best out of your old pipes, and our next star guest should know all about that. My name's Andy Hughes, I'm 33 and I come from Milton Keynes. I'm a supervisor for uh, heating installers called World of Contracts. I go around and survey the jobs beforehand. Generally, I'm there when the installation's being done just to check that things are running smoothly. And I go afterwards and check that the job's been done to the, the standard we want. I think I'll get the biggest buzz on the show from performing in front of the audience that I'm going to perform in front of. And also thinking in the back of my mind about all the people that know me and have seen me watching out there in the telly. My mum's uh, over the moon about it. She must have told everybody in the whole world that I'm on it. And I just think everybody watching knows who I'm going to be because she's told them by one way or another. Let's see if he can plumb the heights tonight. Please welcome Andy Hughes. <laughs> Now, I really admire you because you're a plumber, and do you know why I admire that? Because I think plumbing is central to civilization. I do. <laughs> now, it must be very odd going into people's houses that you don't know. Some odd things must happen. Yeah, you get some weird ones. I had this, um, this guy once, I was, I was working in the, on the landing, as you, in, by the, or the boiler, Yeah. and uh, he came up to me and he said, can you keep a secret and don't tell anybody about it? And I said, yeah, sure. So he opened this door to this bedroom, and he said to me, that's probably the biggest collection of bubble bath containers you're ever likely to see in your life. <laughs> There's just bubble bath containers everywhere. And I started playing along with it and I said to him, any, any valuable ones? And he said, well, you, you see this Hulk Hogan one here? He said, notice the green boots. He said, well, all the rest were blue. So that's worth a fortune. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> so, so, why don't you give us a few clues about the person that you're going to be? Well, he's the, he's the second biggest thing to come from New Zealand. What's the first biggest thing? Lamb. Oh, yeah. Of <laughs> so, he started in a band with his brother called Split Ends. Yeah. Um, then went on to form another band that, that split in 96. Yeah. Uh, their biggest hit was a song about the weather. Uh, right. And they got their name because they lived in a house that was very crowded. Well, that's almost giving it away. Tell us who you're going to be tonight, Andy. Well, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Neil Finn from Crowded House. Neil Finn! <laughs> from a crowded house to a packed studio. Tonight, singing live, Andy Hughes is Neil Finn! Tell me all the things you change I don't pretend to know what you want Come on, spill my talk Time and again, time and again No fire where I lit my spark I am not afraid of the dark Travel so far, old enough to know who you are, wise enough to carry the scars out in a blame. There's no one to blame. Easy to forget what you learned, waiting for the thrill to return.
Look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> Is that somebody who's having a good time? <laughs> How's it been the last two days yeah, for you? Yeah, I love every minute of it. Have like, you? Yeah. yeah. And I bet you're gagging to get back to your plumbing, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <good. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Andy Hughes as Neil Finn. You know, you have to be pretty determined to make it in this world, and I'm happy to say our next star guest has really got his life sorted. My name is Dan Richards, I live in Kidderminster and I'm 30 years old. I work at Kidderminster Sorting Office, I've been here for about 14 years now. Um, I enjoy it mainly because I, I do three different shifts and I get to meet uh, three different kinds of people. I applied for Stars and Rise by accident. Uh, a friend of mine had bottled out of going on to the show, so she said, would well, I like the form? And so I took the form offer and uh, the rest is history. I dedicate tonight's performance to my wife, Sarah. Uh, I met Sarah doing a musical about 10 years ago, total stranger at the time, and uh, we had to do a, a stage kiss, and that may have brought us together, I'm not sure. I can't wait to meet Matthew Kelly, uh, mainly because uh, I've seen on the television that he's quite a tall sort of chap, and everybody else that comes onto the programme seems a lot shorter than him. But uh, I'm up there, six foot three, so I can't wait to stand next to Matthew and uh, look him in the eye. And it's always good to see eye to eye, so let's see Darren Richards! <laughs> Look at that, we do see eye to eye, don't we? Isn't it marvellous? It's fantastic. I'm very impressed with you on that film, with the sorting of the mail, chucking it in different uh, bins. So that take you a long time, it's very skilled. I've been there for 14 years, so after doing all the different rounds and things, you get to know the sorting, and so after 14 years, if you don't know the sorting, you should be out of there, really. You should be out on your ears, shouldn't you? Yeah. Yes. Now, how have your mates reacted to you coming on the show? Well, to start with, they were taking, taking the mick out of me, and um, as I got through each stage, they started to sort of think, Oh, uh, he's getting on quite well with this. Uh, uh, now I'm actually on the show. Like, they, they just couldn't believe it. They're in full support. And, and oh, that's great. And they're really excited for yeah. you now. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. You better give us uh, a few clues about who you're going to be. Uh, he's an American country artist. Right. Um, and the song I'm doing tonight was released twice in 94. And uh, in 95, he released it again. Uh, and it got to number 10. You better tell us who you're going to be, Darren. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Joshua Caddison. Joshua Cunningham! Get the tissues out, it's Jesse time, because tonight, singing live, Darren Richards is Joshua Cunningham! Fine. But you 
used to think about you all the time. We finally took your pictures down off the wall. Jesse, how do you always seem to know just when I call? I love you when the sun shines, lay you down in the warm white sand. And who knows, maybe this time things will turn out just the way you planned. Jesse, paint your pictures about how it's gonna be. By now I should know better, your dreams are never free. But tell me all about our little trailer by the sea. Fantastic. Look at that hair. <laughs> it's just great. That's a hairdo that would go down well in the Kidderminster post office, wouldn't it? <laughs> when your mates could uh, take the mickey out of your hairdo, but what a fantastic voice. Thank you. It's just extraordinary. Ladies and gentlemen, Darren Richards as Joshua Caddison. <laughs> Plenty more style to come after the break when we'll meet a star guest who'll be transformed into a legendary country singer and a 90s pop star with a more than passing fancy for Audrey Hepburn. So hang about for part two when all will be revealed on the show whose winning numbers are always 78, 45 and 33 and a third. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Stars in their eyes. Now we've already got naked with Louise. Oh, behave. We've seen the stars with Neil Finn and we've gone gooey all over Joshua Caddison. Yes, this is the show that gives you a ticket to ride on the love train all the way to Boogie Wonderland. So reserve your seat for two more fantastic performances. Cha cha cha. <laughs> now, before the break, I teased you with the identity of star guest number four. Let me give you another hint as we travel to the old country. My name's Laura O'Sullivan. I'm 17 years of age. I come from Galan's Banter County, Cork, South West Ireland. I live on a farm. It's eight miles from the nearest town. I live with my mum, my dad and my five brothers. In the summer, I help bring in the hay. And sometimes I feed the pigs. It's great to be living on the farm because there's so much to do and you're never bored or anything and it's just the whole point of being outside in the fields and fresh air. My family are totally overwhelmed by me being on the show and they just can't believe it. They're really excited about going over and watching me on the TV and everything. Just the same as the way I feel myself. This is the biggest audience that I've ever sang in front of before. It's just the thought of being there like in front of a big crowd and singing and like everyone's going to be watching and it's just, I don't know, it's just going to be brilliant. I'm sure she's going to be brilliant. Please say top of the evening to Loretta O'Sullivan. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something amazing now. Up until a few months ago, Loretta had never even heard of Stars in Their Eyes. Tell us why. Um, we have only two um, TV channels at home, so we didn't have the channel that it's broadcasted on. But so who applied for you? My sister. How lovely. Yeah. And she's here tonight with you. What's it like for you coming to England? It's marvellous. It was my first time ever on a plane, ever. Like, mm -hmm. to, you know. And you've never been to England before either? Never, no. Tell us a bit about the person you're going to be. Um, well, her real name was Virginia Patterson Hensley. She was born in 1932. Mm -hmm. um, and the song that I'm singing tonight, um, she recorded it in 1961. 
And they made a film of her life in 1985. Yes. And what was the film called? Sweet Dreams. You'll never guess who it is. Tell us who you're going to be tonight, Loretta. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Patsy Cline. Patsy Cline! <laughs> and from one old country to another, with America's favourite song tonight, singing live, Loretta O'Sullivan is Patsy Cline! to look and sound as pure as you. <laughs> you just great, you, you know. And you look as if you haven't got a nerve in your body. Have you got any nerves at all? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can't see it at all. And you look fantastic. Thanks. Are you happy bunny? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Loretta O'Sullivan as Patsy Klein! Now, don't make your minds up just yet. There's still one star guest to come. He's a chef in the most exclusive restaurant in the world. It's not only the waiters that wear uniforms, the customers have to as well. And here to explain is our final star guest. My name is Neil Banks. I'm age 26. I'm a Royal Naval chef. I come from a little town in Lancashire called Ashton in Makerfield, which is just outside Manchester. My normal working day is to feed the ship's company. For each meal we feed, on average, around about 280 men. And we feed these men three times a day. 90% of the lads are really happy with the food, but as with anywhere, you, you'll always get the same people that make the complaints. But our usual response is to hit them over the head with a two-pint ladle. When I got the phone call from stars in their eyes to say that I'd actually got through after the initial shock, I suppose you could compare it to scoring the winning goal at Wembley for you. For your favourite team, I suppose, it'd be the same feeling. Well, joining me on the centre spot tonight, 
Neil Banks. <laughs> You've met some very important people on your ship, haven't you? I've met the Queen. Um, oh, yeah. I've also met Prince Charles. And, and do they speak to you when they come on board? I remember when I met Prince Charles, um, he, um, he said to me, he said, uh, he said, uh, he said uh, where did you do your training? And I said, uh, well, I actually did my training in, uh, in Aldershot, but uh, nowadays all the Navy chefs go down to HMS Raleigh for the training. He said, uh, he said uh, well, that's right, I bloody opened the thing. <laughs> That's RMBs down the tubes, isn't it? <laughs> now, I know you're going to be a very current star tonight. Tell us a bit about him. Well, the band was formed in uh, 1992. And the group that he belongs to has a very strange name. Why was that? Well, I think they were all sitting around one day, and uh, they turned around and said, uh, I think we should call the band Deep Blue Something, and uh, the name has stuck ever since. So. And that's given it away, so tell us who you're going to be. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Todd Pipes from Deep Blue Something. Todd Pipes! From the deep blue sea to a deep blue something, with a huge number one, tonight's team live, Neil Banks' Tom Pikes! We got nothing coming We're coming down to start from And we're falling apart You'll say The world has come between us Life's have come between us Still I know you just don't care And I said, what about the records to Tiffany? She said, I think I remember the film And this article, I think we both kind of liked it And I said, well, that's one thing we got Say we got nothing in common. Common ground to start from. We're falling apart. You say the world has come between us. Life's have come between us. Still, I know you. What about breakfast to Tiffany? She said, I think I remember the film And as I recall, I think we both kind of liked it And I said, well, that's one thing we got And I said Great. Don't you think that suits him? Yeah, yeah really good. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, did, you, did you enjoy yourself? That was fantabulous. It, it's great, isn't it? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Neil Banks as Todd Pipes. <laughs> well, there it is, five star guest, five star performances, but only one star finalist. But before our studio audience cast their votes, let's have a reminder of who they were. Andres.
First up are Baker from the Borders, Kirsty Fleming as Louise. You make me feel naked. Then it was plumbing supervisor Andy Hughes as Neil Finn. Drawn to the flame when your seven worlds collide. Next from the Royal Mail, Darren Richards as Joshua Caddison. Just paint your pictures about how it's gone. Then musical student and Loretta I'm O'Sullivan as Patsy Klein. And I'm crazy for loving you. Finally, Royal Navy chef Neil Banks as Todd Pipes. And I said, what about breakfast to Tiffany, she said. Tough choice, but studio audience, cast your votes now. And while they're voting, let's go backstage to see how our star guests thought they did. I'll never forget this tonight. It'll, it's the best thing I've ever done. Just the, the thrill of doing it, this in front of the audience. I just love, love doing it. Just to come through the doors and just stand there and take the applause just gave me such a big lift. It was the most wonderful experience in my whole life. It's just absolutely brilliant. It was absolutely fabulous, brilliant, brilliant experience. Fantastic fivesome, but only one finalist. So will it be Louise, Neil Finn, Joshua Caddison, Patsy Klein, or Todd Pipes. And the winner is Patsy Klein! Hey, now, how are you? As well as can be expected. <laughs> See? Can you believe this? Only six months ago, she'd never even heard of a show. <laughs> now she's won it. And did you see your mum there? Oh, no, that'll start you again. Don't... <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> you settle yourself while I do the end bit, all right? Yeah. It's been an amazing show. We found another brilliant finalist who'll go on to appear in our live grand final. All our star guests have been fantastic, and I'm just glad I don't have to vote because with a standard this high, we'd be here all night. But there can only be one winner, and this is Loretta's night. So let's hear her sing once again. Ladies and gentlemen, Loretta O'Sullivan as Patsy Klein. Good night. to appear on Stars and Their Eyes, please call 0870 400 4000 and our famous doors could open for you. Stars.